In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. The Virgin's Feasts. 1. Her, Dormition, Thine, 21st Abbey and the 21st day of every Coptic month. 2. Her Nativity, First Passions. 3. The Annunciation to Her Parents, Seventh Mesra. 4. Her Presentation into the Temple, Third Kiok. 5. Her Entry into the Land of Egypt, 24th Passions. 6. Her Assumption, 16th of Misra. 7. Consecration of her church in Philippi, 21st Bayana. 8. Her appearance in her church at Zatun, Cairo, 2nd April. Two questions on the Virgin's titles. 1. Why do we call the Virgin the Vine and the Prayer of? The third hour, sing. O Mother of God, you are the true vine. Bearing the fruit of life, when the vine is the Lord Jesus Christ. Who says plainly of himself. I am the true vine and my Father is. The vine dresser. I am the vine, you are the branches. John. 15. 1. 5. 2. Why do we address the Virgin, in the third watch of? The midnight prayer, sing. O noted gate of life. When the gate is Christ who says of himself. I am the door of the sheep, John. 10. 7. 1. The Virgin is the true vine. Giving the title the true vine to the Virgin in no way contradicts. The title of the Lord Jesus Christ as the true vine. The Lord is. The vine in one sense and the Virgin is the vine in another. The Lord is the vine when we are the branches, He is. The origin and all of us originate from Him, He is the head and. All of us are members of His body. As for the Virgin, according to the Church's hymns, she is the one. Who bore the fruit of life the Son of God. She is the vine who. Neither experienced senescence nor was reaped by anybody. Here we would like to record an important point. The Lord Jesus Christ grants us some of his titles. 1. The Lord says. I am the Good Shepherd, John. 10. 11, 14. This title was given to God by David in his psalm when he said. The Lord is my shepherd, P.S. 23. 1. And was also given to him. In the book of Ezekiel, S. 34. 11 to 16. Nevertheless, the Lord appoints some of his children shepherds. While he is concerned to make the whole church one flock and one shepherd, John 10, 16, he says to Peter the Apostle, Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, John 21, 15, 16. In the Old Testament the Lord says, And I will give you shepherds, according to my heart, Chur 3, 15. The title shepherd became the title attributed to the Apostle's successors, the bishops who are to shepherd the church of God which he purchased with his own blood, Acts 20, 28. St. Peter says, Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, 1 Pat. 5, 2. 2. The Lord Jesus Christ calls himself light when he says, I am the light of the world, John. 8, 12. John. 9, 5. Nevertheless, he says to his disciples, You are the light of the world, Matt. 5. 14. And let your light so shine before men. Matt. 5. 16. There is no doubt that the Lord is the absolute light in the full sense of the word. His disciples are light because they derive their light from him and with his light they shine before others. In the same way, he is the shepherd in the full sense of the word, but they are shepherds because they are God's stewards appointed by him to shepherd his flock. 3. It is said of the Lord Jesus Christ that he is the bishop, the shepherd and overseer of your souls, 1 Pet. 2. 25. Nevertheless, the apostles' disciples were ordained bishops by the Holy Spirit, John 20:20 20, 20 to 23, Acts 20, 28, 1 Thess. 3. 2. Phil. 1. 1. Titus 1. 7. 4. It is said of the Lord Jesus Christ that he is the priest forever. According to the order of Melchizedek, P.S. 110. 4. Heb. 5. 6. Yet there are numerous verses in the Holy Bible about the high priest, the chief priest and the priests to whom God gave an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. X. 40. 15. In the Old Testament it is written, Let your priests be clothed 
with righteousness, P.S. 132, 916, and he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head and anointed him to sanctify him, Lev. 8, 12, and you shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother, for glory and for beauty, X. 28, 2. In the New Testament, we notice that St. Paul calls himself a priest, Rom. 15, 16. The Lord Jesus Christ is the priest in the sense that he offered himself a sacrifice on our behalf. The priests from the human race are ministers and stewards of God's mysteries. They offer the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Old Testament they offered what symbolized Christ's sacrifice. 5. It is written that Christ is the Son of God, 1 John 4, 14, 15, and that we also are children of God, 1 John 3, 1. Christ is the Son of God in the sense that he is of God's essence, nature and divinity, but we are children through love and adoption. That is why the Lord Jesus Christ is called the only Son, John 3, 16. Likewise, is the title vine. The Lord Jesus Christ is the vine. The whole church is called the vineyard and the Lord sang a song of the vineyard about the church in the book of Isaiah is 5, 37, in which he says, Judge, please, between me and my vineyard. What more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done in it? And the divine inspiration says, For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, is 5, 7. The same meaning applies to the parable of the vineyard and the tenants, which the Lord told in Matt 21, 33 to 41. In this parable, the vineyard is the church. The tenants are the priests, and God is the landlord. In calling the church the vine, we quote the words of the divine inspiration in the book of Psalms. We say to God, Return, we beseech you, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and see and visit this vine and the vineyard which your right hand has planted, P.S. 80, 14, 15. Do we steal God's glory if we call the church the vine when Christ himself has bestowed upon her that title? Do we steal God's glory if we call people the vineyard when the teaching of the Holy Bible commands us to do so? Or is this just an attack against the church of which the Holy Bible says, Sing to her, a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, keep it. I water it every moment, is 27, 2, 3. Moreover, the title the vine is given to every blessed mother. As the psalm says, your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house, p.s. 128, 3. Therefore, it is not surprising to call Saint Mary the Virgin the vine. 2. The Virgin is the gate of life and the gate of salvation. In the Holy Bible the Virgin Mary is called the gate. It is written in the book of Ezekiel that she is a gate that faces toward the east, and the Lord God entered by it and went out the same way, as 44. 2. As the Lord is the life, then the Virgin is the gate of life. The Lord declares that he is the life when he says, I am the resurrection and the life, John 11. 25. Since the Virgin is the gate through which Christ came, therefore she is the gate of life. In the same way, the Virgin Mary is the gate of salvation because the Lord is the Savior, He came to save the world, to save that which was lost, LK 19, 10. It is not surprising to call the Virgin the gate because the church was called the gate a long time ago. Our father Jacob said of the holy place which he consecrated a church and named Bethel, that is, house of God. How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Gen. 28. 17. Is it correct to pray to the Virgin? We do not pray to the Virgin, but we address her when we pray, and entreat her to intercede for us. Not only do we address the Virgin, but we also address the angels, nature, people, ourselves and even the devil. This is based on written texts from the divine inspiration and is not considered prayer. Why should we not address our mother the Virgin in particular? 1. We address the angels when we pray, saying, Bless the Lord. You his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts. 
you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. P.S. 103. 2021. And. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. P.S. 148. 1, 2. 2. We address nature in our prayer, saying. Praise him, sun and. Moon, praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, you heavens. Of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise. The name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and. All the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind. Fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and. All cedars, P.S. 148. 3 to 9. 3. We address the holy city of God and ask her to praise the Lord. Sing. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates, he has blessed. Your children within you, P.S. 147. 12. 13. In another psalm we say. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. P.S. 87. 3. 4. We address people in our prayer, sing. Oh, clap your hands. All you peoples, shout to God with the voice of triumph. P.S. 47. 1. Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. P.S. 46. 8. Do not put your trust in princes, nor in a son of man, in whom there is no help. P.S. 146.3. And bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. P.S. 103. 22. In another song, we say. Praise, O servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. P.S. 113. 1. And we also say. Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord. Glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. P.S. 29. 1, 2. 5. Also, the worshiper addresses himself, saying, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. P.S. 103. 1 to 5. In another song. The worshiper prays. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God. P.S. 42. 5. In the twelfth. Our prayer, the worshiper addresses himself, saying. Repent, O my soul as long as you are still dwelling on earth. 6. Moreover, in our prayer we address the evil spirits and all their powers, sing. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication, the Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and be ashamed suddenly. P.S. 6. 8-10. to Do we pray to all these? Do we pray to angels? Do we pray to nature, people and devils? God forbid. We address them in our prayer. This is acceptable. It is a biblical teaching and taken from the spirit of the Psalms which St. Paul the Apostle talked about, saying, Whenever you come together, each of you has a song. 1 Cor. 14. 26. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, F. 5. 19, and teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, Colonel 3. 16. As long as we address angels, nature, people, ourselves and devils in our prayers, according to the teaching of the divine inspiration, then it is not wrong to address our mother, the virgin whilst we pray and this is not considered prayer.